Okay, welcome everybody. This is Seattle 206723 here, and welcome to another review. Um, this right here is the Cavalon Fino Sherry. Right here. Hopefully that folk that looks like that's focusing in. And this one is cast number S0684. No, 060 814 026. And what that means is basically this is a 2006 August uh, on the 14th date. Um, barrel 026. This is uh, the 33rd bottle, hand labeled, a 496 from that particular cast. Cavalon Fino Sherry is a spirit that is made from uh, Cavalon in Taiwan. Um, they've increasingly become very popular. They've came out with some very good whiskeys. I've done the uh, Cavalon, as you can see uh, over my shoulder here, the uh, Fino Sherry, um, a view of that in the past, and I thought that the, uh, the uh, Butterique, uh, I thought that the uh, Fino would obviously be the next uh, step to check out. Um, so without further ado, um, we're going to go ahead and get the uh, Leaders Whiskey Drinkers coaster out. Can't do a Cavalon without doing one of these bad boys. Okay, pull that back, open it up. Oh boy. Add a little bit of that to the glass here. Mm, not too much, just a little bit more. All right. Cork back in. Cap back on. Set it right here. It also comes in this beautiful uh, wooden box. It's got a nice little case on the side. I'll give you a quick look at it on the inside there. Beautifully labeled. And that's also an award there. Where it received a 100 out of 100 from the uh, Beverage Testing uh, Institute in Chicago in 2013. Now, we're going to go ahead and let you see the color on it. It's kind of a goldish, mahogany like color to it. Um, very oily, very. Oh yeah, see if I can get you guys to see a look at that, that oiliness, see if that'll focus on in. There it is, right there. Very viscous, very oily. Um, that's the sign of a good quality uh, sherry spirit. Wow, and the legs on here are just incredible. Um, what we're going to do is, as I always do, I'm going to go ahead and give her a nice smell, even though I've kind of already tipped her to my nose. I mean, from the moment I open this bottle, I can just smell the spices and the uh, sherry. So it's definitely um, very appeasing on the, uh, on, the, on the nose, on the sensory uh, uh, glands there in the, uh, in the nose. Wow, that's just ridiculous. Um, we're going to do the nosing, I'll give you the notes I smell, and then we'll do the tasting, and I'll tell you what I taste, and then I'll talk a little bit more about it, and uh, possibly about what my next upcoming video for, uh, for the uh, whiskey reviews that may be coming up. On the nose. Definitely Sherry. Definitely, you can smell the spices. I mean, this is at 58, yeah, 57.8% in alcohol. So, it's a heavy hitter. It's that cast strength. Wow. Clove. Like a coriander seed. So cassia.
like cinnamon quills. Definitely some nutmeg. A nice share. You can get in this too, even at 57.8%. Talking about 114 proof. Well, 115.3 to be exact if my quick math is right. I can get some cocoa. Okay, on the palate. If all Fino Sherry's, if all Sherry whiskeys provided an experience like that, everyone should have an opportunity for an experience like this. For this particular cast, I'm getting. I get the sweetness in the beginning. I get the uh, milk chocolate, then it rides on back to about the, as it's passing the mid palate and the, and the milk chocolate is starting to fade, you're getting those spices of cinnamon, those cinnamon quills, that nutmeg, um, coriander. Hmm. Hmm. The proof lets you know it's there. I took a bit of a bigger swallow on that one though. The cassia definitely comes through when you allow it to let the viscousness of it settle in around the uh, sides of the uh, the mouth and the tongue the palate a little bit with the pheno with that sherry in there that's mixed and those waves of chocolate and cocoa coming through it's like a milk chocolate I don't want to say cocoa, I want to say milk chocolate. Behind waves of sherry. You get the cassia. And then starting on the finish, you can really get the, uh, the cinnamon quills. Wow. Um, nutmeg is definitely coming through there. Just a lot of spices. Um... It comes through as well with that with that fine uh, sherry that fino gives it a little bit of dryness just a tad but you know the proof is there um, like I said you know this this is a little bit of a pricey one so first of all I'm gonna say hell yeah it's worth it and it's 750 milliliter time, everybody. Definitely, definitely worth the uh, price of admission. I mean, the experience alone shows you what a real quality uh, spirit is. Um, that's the most important thing I've learned from this particular bottle is, is that, you know, you're going to get what you pay for with it. Um, you know, it's on the high end. You're talking, you know, four, four, four of those coasters there. Um, but it's definitely worth it, um, without a doubt. Um, the experience is bar none one of the best experiences I've 
bar none the best experience I've ever had with a sherry whiskey. Um, I get other stuff. I get one right now, and I, it, not in the same league, unfortunately. Um, and it's still lasting. I mean, I can still taste those sherry. I can still taste that coriander. I can still taste that cinnamon, that nutmeg, the cassia. Um, and it's just lasting. It's a very long finish, very rewarding. Um, this is cheers. This is, if you ever get out the boat, you better be prepared to go all the way type of drink. Um, the way that oil is just beating up on the side, so another sign of a quality spirit as the legs, it, it won't even fall. So what am I going to rate it? Um, price considering it's already worth it. I'm going to give this a 97 out of 100. Definitely a 97 out of 100. Um, the only thing that I would say may bring it up a little bit. I mean, the, the only thing that, that would possibly not bring it up a little bit is, is um, <clears throat> I mean, to bring it up a little bit more is if they could keep this type of quality balance with a little bit more proof, maybe like a 60 or, you know, just thinking on ways to possibly improve. I mean, 97 is the highest rating I've ever given any whiskey. Um, I'm even borderlining on 98, to be honest with you. Um, and tying it up with the um, the Lot 53 from Tesla. Um, but, in fact, we're going to go with that. We're going to go with a 98 out of 100. That's a 9.8 on a 10.0 Richter scale. The only thing that can be added to make this a little bit better is to bring up the proof a little bit, but it's perfect where it's at. And if they could bring that, if they were somehow to master bringing that up just a little bit more with this same type of quality, it'd be a hundred out of a hundred in a day of the week in my book. Um, but definitely a whiskey if you're in a bar and they have it, it's definitely worth to try, it's definitely worth to sit down and drink it, and then you can consider buying a bottle of it, but bar none, this is the best sherry whiskey I've ever had in my life, um, <clears throat> and I've only been doing this for a year, I'm trying out single malts and whiskeys and stuff like that, but this is definitely, definitely light years ahead, I mean, warp speed now <laughs> above any other sherry whiskey I've ever tasted. Um, this right here sets the bar very high, very high for any other whiskey that I may drink in the sherry range. Um, it's one of a kind. Again, this is 06 The Seattle Tool 6723. Taking enough of your time. Thank you for being here. Thank you for checking out the Cavalan video. It's 750 milliliter time, everybody, and we're out.